Hello. Okay. Do you yeah. like your new tent? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. folks and welcome to today's vlog. Today is the day when we assemble Amy's furniture. We're just clearing up the floor, getting the last couple of bits of cleaning stuff like paint out of the way so that we can do that. Then we've got a bed to assemble, a desk to assemble, a bedside table to assemble, a chair to bring in the room. It's actually going to be a livable room again, still with no curtains. But talking of bedroom makeovers, something else to show you quickly as well. Hello. Okay. Do you yeah. like your new tent? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Are we ever going to see you downstairs again? Yeah. Good. It's like camping, isn't it? Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Shall I leave you alone? Yeah. Thought so. Well, that was a much harder job than anticipated, but after much faffing about and crawling around on the floor, we now have a bed. Go to sleep. You don't need a mattress there. Right, hold on. I want to set the camera up. So, don't worry, this isn't, this hasn't been four months building up to a mattress advert. This is a mattress <laughs> I have purchased myself. But I do want to film it unwrapping because I think that always looks fun. Just for the record, if any of the mattress companies do want to send us a mattress, we'll happily redo this video as a mattress advert. It wasn't for lack of trying <laughs> that this isn't a mattress advert. That's not quite how it works on the adverts. <laughs> no. Um, it's heavy. It's a paper under the bed. I don't know. I can keep stuff under my bed now. Huh. I can hide stuff under it. Well, oh, it smells funny. Mattress. Lie in it then. Let's gauge how it feels. Oh, comfy. Is it good? Yeah. Excellent. This is actually, this is actually like comfier than my old one. I, I hope one. so, or it's what's going to get a new one. My old one was good. Right, now we need to assemble the rest of the furniture in this oh, room. Right folks, this has been literally months in the making. It's still not quite finished because we've still not got curtains up, as you can see and we still only have single bedding on a double bed that needs fixing and there's nothing on the walls. The walls are still completely bare but considering how it was this morning, here you go, this is editing now. How it was this morning, let's have a little look at it this morning. Last week, let's have a little look at it last week as well. In fact, why not go all the way back and have a look at it from back in August before we started. So it's gone from that to this. Ooh, let's have a little proper look. So we've got your little desk area over here, yeah. which is mirror and whatnot on there bed which you can just about see the bedding doesn't quite fit yeah bedside table with your little trinkety things on that door still needs painting and the radiator still needs painting and the skirting board still need painting <laughs> yeah and the windowsill there's a few so it's it's not finished it's got a little tripod in the corner as well so she can record videos and my camera yeah she's got a camera that she got for her birthday like a year and a half ago so it's not completely finished, but it's as finished as it's going to get before Christmas. Happy? Yeah. Better than it really was? Like it. Much better. Awesome. I so really now like you've it. got somewhere to do your homework and makeup and editing and whatever else you want to do. Somewhere to sleep and somewhere to... I mean, she's got coins in her trinket tray already. I don't I even know where she got before. coins from. I think they were from Mrs. Jeans. Mad. They're right now. Right, I am now a broken man. My back, my, uh, my joints have been aching for like two weeks anyway, ever since I started going to the gym. I'm still at that stage where every time I work a muscle group, it makes me ache for days afterwards. So anything that's not going to the gym is a very achy experience at the moment. So doing this has broken me. So I'm gonna jump in the shower and then go and lie down for about a week, I think. Happy? Yeah. I think I'll just leave Amy alone to get settled into her oh, new room. Go on then, let's actually see you open an advent calendar on the vlog for the first time in ages. Um, you need to be up to the 17th. So we've opened 15th, this So we have a, a milk. Milk. Another milk chocolate. Uh, uh, it's so close to Christmas. It is close to Christmas, it's a week away. We've got your room finished just in the nick of time. Yeah, we've got a new... Oh, it's a white one. 
Splendid. Yeah, I need to get a bin. You do need to get a bin. Right, more advent calendars to come later in the vlog when I should be wearing a different shirt. If I'm not wearing a different shirt, that means I was disgusting and didn't have a shower, despite the fact even now I can smell myself. <laughs> Much later in the day, and yes, we know there's hair situations going on here. This one has had a shower, so it's all tied up. This one has tried to do his hair a different like way. It. It's awful. I like it. Your I watched... hair is nice and soft. <laughs> Let me tell the story. I watched a video last week about how to trim a longer beard because I've kept my beard a little bit longer so I can put the baubles back in it for Christmas. But usually when I trim my beard, I trim it much shorter. It's awful. So I had to watch a video to learn how to trim and shape a longer beard. That led to a video popping up in my recommendations on YouTube that I think it was a title on the lines of something like, you're doing your hair wrong or something. I can't remember exactly what it said, but I clicked on it because I thought, no, I'm not. My hair's lovely. <laughs> and apparently I'm supposed to put my product on before hair drying but it. But everyone knows that. I don't know that. And I don't think most men do know that. I think we I just think get, I think most men get out the shower and either let it dry and then product or just product in wet and just leave it. I think, I don't think you'll find very many men who put like putty or wax or gel or something in their hands, put that in their hair and then blow dry their hair. I think that's- Well it says apply to wet hair I, and Let style. me know down in the comments, if you are a gentleman, um, do you do you do what I just described? Have you ever put gel or wax or anything in your hair then blow dried it? I'd never even, even when you go to the barbers that's not what they do, they blow dry it, then they say do you want some wax in that? Yeah, or do you want some gel different. in that? You use putty, it's different stuff. It's all very complicated. But we just do it the way the barbers do it. They put it in last, so we put it in last. But I put it in and then blow dried it and it just it just looks, looks fluffy lovely. and awful. It doesn't. My hair's supposed to be spiky all over the place. This looks like it's been brushed. Oh, it looks lovely. It looks awful. You will never see it like this oh, again. No, it's awful. You're so I want mean. my messy spiky hair that I've had for the last 20 years. That's how my hair is supposed to be. Well, you look nice. I don't care. I want to look like me. I don't look like me. I, I looked better yesterday after I was wearing the hat. This is ridiculous. Um, right, we've got some advent calendars to do anyway. That's that's why we're here. There you go. We've, we missed today. Andy is so far behind on his as well. He doesn't really like He's them. not at all interested in it, is he? He likes Hot Wheels, but just the whole advent calendar thing he's not really interested in, I don't think. It's counting down to a time he's not really going to enjoy. What have um, you got there? I'm not sure. I think this is for boys. Oh, I'll have it. You know. Shave tonic, face and beard. <laughs> Pre and post shave care. Fair enough, Amazon Beauty. I know you can't discriminate, but let's face it, there was nothing else in there <laughs> that I would want. So, revitalising barbershop inspired routine for comfortable, smooth shave. Um, yeah, this is... This I could is, use it on my legs. Yeah, I mean, I'm never going to wet shave. <laughs> what a weird thing. That's oh. that's a mad thing to put no. to put. Oh, that smells horrible. It's tea tree. It smells like medicine. That's right. So my number sixteen. So my one from yesterday. Black pepper and sea salt. We'll get into these in a minute, Dave. I'm just gonna put them on there. You're not to eat them. I don't know why it's for the face. I'll shoot it on my legs. What have you got for number seven? Oh, I'll get my seventeen open as well. So I can see my seventeen. Don't smell it. My day seventeen is. Marvellous maple. Marvellous maple. It is marvellous maple. Marvellous maple. What have you got as number 17? A nice Nivea. Lipstick. Lip care. Push pop. Lip balm. Don't push me. Push a push pop. I used to love them. So did my cousin. Um, if my cousin is watching, <laughs> I apologise. Have I told you this story before? No. Um, I, I won't name them. I won't even say whether it was male or female. Um, but... When we were kids, <laughs> they were, this, this person was staying around our house one day in the summer holidays and my mum had some, I guess it was some sunscreen lip balm stuff and she put some on me, she put some on my brother and then she went to my cousin and this unnamed genderless cousin um, just took a bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming it was a push pop. I mean, quite frankly, who bites a push pop? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? It was like a, a lip balm, a sunscreen lip balm thing. Uh -huh. So I had a bit on, my brother had a bit on, and then <clears throat> just took a, like three quarters of it. I mean, if that was a push, if that was a push pop that we were sharing, what a monster! We have a little, we have a little dab on our lips. They take three quarters of it in a big bite. Did they want you to have it on? I can only assume not, or else how on earth? <laughs> 
how do you oh, how do you say? watch that? Just spit that out and then explain. <laughs> what, but how would you watch me and my brother having it just applied to our lips and then think that looks wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bite this. <laughs> what? How does that thought process work? Um, if they are watching, they probably don't even remember doing it because it's just one of those weird <laughs> things that you probably don't remember. Um, but I remember it because I remember thinking, you're mental. <laughs> Look at the size of that don't one. Give, don't give it, David. Mm, mm, mm. It's already been in bad mood today. There you go. You can have a little one. Yes, yeah, so what you're saying? Dave's calendar never did show up. I should check on Amazon to see if it actually got dispatched or if it got cancelled for some I, reason. Got... If it got dispatched, it would be in one of those boxes upstairs. And you haven't opened them. There's so many boxes. Just so many boxes. Where we are need you to going? Wrap some Christmas presents soon. Yeah, I'm on Wednesday. Right. Help Santa out. We are going to end today's vlog there, though. I know this has been a bit of a short and that. disjointed one. What? You shouldn't say that. What do you mean? Kids watch. What, and they're upset that we're going to end the vlog? No. The other bit. About wrapping presents. We're going to wrap presents and send them to Santa, the way yeah. everyone does. Okay. It's what my parents used to do, wrap the presents and send them off to Santa so he can deliver them. Santa doesn't have time to wrap all the presents, parents Please have to help elves. out. Well, I'd like to think I'm one of Santa's elves. Have you seen the size of you? Have you seen the size of Santa? Yeah, but like, elves are tiny, well, it's supposed to be. Hmm. Smaller people. My size. Are you an elf? Ah, really? If you have enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching. Andy's enjoying his new bed. Oh, it wasn't a cheer, was it?